at the security here. You think he's playing Assassin's Creed? But no. <laughs> he's watching the CCTV. Damn. So imagine if I was a guard in a castle and then someone comes up here and then I just stab them with a freaking sword. They made it. They freaking made it. Check out G2A.com for the cheapest deals on games, credits, gadgets, and peripherals. Buy more while saving more with G2A. Buongiorno, everybody. Cafe? Cafe? So today is our last day in Florence and also our last day in Italy. And it's been super fun. Today, I still have one or two things to do here in Firenze, and that is to climb the dome, the bell tower, and also the Piazza del Signora, I forgot the name. So hopefully it won't take too much of our time because our flight to Paris will be later at 7. So it's around 10 a.m. We only have like three to four hours left to explore, but I think we can do it. All right, boys, we're about to climb that tower. So guys, we were supposed to climb the dome as well. However, the tickets to the dome is fully booked until Monday. And today is Friday. Two days booked, damn. But you know what? It's fine. If you can't climb the dome, you can climb the tower for synchronization. There we go, 400. 14 steps. Oh boy! <laughs> steps are so tiny! 14 steps, guys. Let's do this. Edge Chill, he can, he can climb the facade of this in just like 15 seconds. But us, untrained common NPCs. You gotta take the stairs. 414 steps to the top. Ooh. I think I've climbed 100 already. A few more to go, okay? Yeah, let's go. Okay, first checkpoint reached. And Florence is looking pretty cool. If you think this view is awesome, wait till we get to the top. Another. Checkpoint reached. Oh, bro. Oh, Florence is so beautiful. Grave. This is what Edsu would be doing on a normal Friday afternoon, love. He would just run around on the rooftops, killing guards and stuff, killing Templars. Yeah. We're almost there. We are almost there, buddy. You all have no idea just how hard it is to climb 414 steps of a very, very narrow passageway. They designed one of these somewhat similar to like castles so that when soldiers try to siege something, those with right-handed uh, weapons can easily stab the guys going up. See, see how tight the squeeze is? And if you think about it, if you were an attacking soldier sieging a castle with a tower like this, by the time that you go up, you're pretty tired. You won't be able to fight back properly. Plus, you're getting stabbed through the dominant hand. Medieval warfare was something. Now, I've got it back. We're almost there. Almost there. Last. 20 steps 
Take last 20 or 40 steps. We got this. We did it. Look at the security here. You think he's playing Assassin's Creed? But no. <laughs> he's watching the CCTV. Yeah, man. Okay, here we go. After climbing 440 steps and you make it, you will be rewarded by a wonderful view of Firenze. Few points synchronized. Look at this synchronization. Synchronization. <sighs> Freaking no wonder assassins loved going through high places. Because if you guys see this, sheesh. everything's so orange and white and yellow. Damn. You wouldn't see this in Manila or any third world country. They wouldn't have like themed houses. For, for miles and miles. Yero, yeah, yeah. If, if that's, that's an theme. aesthetic, yeah. If that's a theme or aesthetic, yeah, yeah sure. But look at this bricks <laughs> and everything. Yeah. And the ling. And the business district is right over there, probably the one with the skyscrapers. But everything else here in the center of Florence is pretty cool. And the same goes with Rome it's or any major it's Italian so city. Wonderful. Exactly. Man, they have bricks like this. <laughs> okay, so our next destination is that tower over there. Hopefully it doesn't have grills like this. I don't see any grills, so we should be good. And we should have a better view of everything. So we're going down now, guys. Going down is easier than going up, obviously. It's still gonna take us like 10 minutes. And of course... <laughs> yep. Thank you, gravity. I don't think gravity because it is the same. You see these corners over here? So imagine if I was a guard in a castle and someone comes up here and then I just stab them with a freaking sword. Right there, and then they fall down and then stab them again. Like that. It makes sense, right? Mm -hmm. You know, I could always imagine Ezio just jumping from that roof to that roof or just hanging around over there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here we go again. Where are they there? Oh, nice. Very good. Last set of stairs going to the top of the tower of Piazza del Signoria. Can't wait to see it. Uh, prison cell. This is the prison cell, love. This is what's inside of it. See, it has a little shithole there. Uh, oh, this is it. This is the prison cell. 
This is where he got uh, Eddie Orbitore's uh, dad was held. One of the first assassinos here in Florence. And then you would see this is the POV of uh, Ezio's dad. Okay? Ezio would, we uh, had to climb all the way up here on this area. And then Ezio was like, Father, I will come and save you. Ezio's father would be like, no, you gotta get the, get the assassin robes and stuff and the, 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 the things. Cool. Father, I will save you. It's just so surreal being in here. Freaking made it. Wow. The rest of the following clips will be just P rolls. It's gonna synchronize you guys to the viewpoints here. Sabi mo lang, ano sabi mo lang? Ezio. Sino si Ezio? Nandoon? Ayun, ayun. Oh my God. Where? Ayun, ayun. So yep, that's pretty much it for our Assassin's Creed tour of Florence. However, to top it off, I think it's only appropriate that we have our last meal at the Brasseria Auditore. I, have no, I don't know why this exists, I, but it's pretty cool. Guys, I was just joking about the Assassin's Creed thing, but look who we found. <laughs> what are the odds of? What are the odds? Oh, <laughs> oh, my boy Ezio here. Ready to go the auditor restaurant. Auditor Firenze. One kilo of this steak. Jeez. I was just like. Oh, it's so good. Favorite drink on the Favorite drink on the So good. Our steak is here. Oh, wow. Look at that. Damn. Ha! Solo ko to. Test guitar, right? <laughs> I ordered a one kilogram steak. I have no idea what this is. They just recommended it, good. but you know what? Whatever. Ding Chen with her pasta. We got some roasted potatoes. The best freaking drink here in Italy. Freaking Ugo. Some brochette. Brush, brush, I don't know. Ah, perfect. Come on. Medium rare? Wow. 
<laughs> Juicy. Mm. This is, I think, medium to medium rare. I'm not sure. But, yeah. So, guys, we're on our way back to fetch our bags. Our experience in uh, the Auditore, Bruschetti, whatever steak place was pretty good. Um, the steak wasn't that remarkable. It was very juicy. It was very good. Like if you're planning to let someone taste steak for the first time, then that would be a good place to start. But I've tasted better in Japan. But it's just really nice that we had an actual Auditore Assassin's Creed to reference. They had it in like the... Uh, their uh, their plate, but I think it's more of uh, the auditory family was somehow influential here in Firenze and uh, Ubisoft kind of tampered with the history and stuff. So Yeah, that's pretty much it. Anyways overall experience here in Firenze. It's very good compared to Rome uh, It's uh, the, the streets are, are a lot more narrower uh, let a lot less busy, but the ambience here is very chill kind of like Rome, but more how would I say this? More Spanish. <laughs> it's more Spanish, right? Especially if you're an Assassin's Creed uh, fan, go to Firenze. You have to go here. You have to visit the birthplace of Ezio Auditore, La Firenze. So I hope you guys enjoyed uh, my little tour here, my Assassin's Creed tour in Firenze and Rome. And I hope you all enjoy the next one which is Paris. I've never played Assassin's Creed Unity so whatever. I'm not gonna reference any Assassin's Creed stuff in Paris but either way looking forward to it. It's gonna be my first time in France and my first time to hopefully taste unauthentic, unauthentic croissant. croissant. croissant.